And we're going to introduce you to these two teams. We're going to welcome out first and foremost, the team of Fast Fours, led by their captain. Please welcome George Wall. The young gun, Oliver Gray. The scintillating Talia Saunders. And the miraculous Michaela Hyatt. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time. Congratulations to the Fast Fours. And their opponents here, ladies and gentlemen, on the other side of the net for the championship title. Please welcome the Gold Coast Glory, led by their captain, Sarah Burr. Bring her out, Danny L. Townsend. Please welcome Mr. Alex Fairbanks. Last but not least, the USA import, Mr. Roman Estarea. Give it up one more time for the Gold Coast glory. Ladies and gentlemen, keep that applause going for our fantastic referees for this match. We congratulate them on their appointment. At the helm is Mr. David J. And joining him courtside is the lovely Kylie Dunn. Well, now it's game time, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck to both teams. Championship Major League Pickleball Australia. It's game time. Over to you boys in the booth. Thank you, Ben. Welcome to Major League Pickleball Australia at Focus Pickleball Redcliffe. My name is Dylan Kimlin. Sitting alongside me is Gordon Watson. Gordon, we are set for an absolute thriller. Oh, my God. This is so exciting, Dylan. We've got two brand new grand finalists here, the Gold Coast Glory and the Fast Fours both making their debut in a grand final. Absolutely electric. We saw some two absolute screamers of the semi-finals to get through the fast fours and the glory too strong in the end. The fours just winning a dream breaker that I was lucky enough to call. Gordon, give us a rundown of the glory. How did the guys do? Well, the glory had a cliffhanger. They they had to reverse their, the Auckland result. They went down to um, the rush in Auckland. They managed to turn it around. They won 3-1 and they're coming into this grand final with some really good momentum. Oh, understandable. So they look pumped up, ready to go. The ladies on court, Sarah Bird, Danielle Townsend, will no, on, no doubt put an absolute show on for everyone. The look at Sarah. She's jumping like a boxer. She's pumped. On the other side, we have the duo of Talia Saunders and Mickey Hyatt. Gordon, let me tell you, the ladies were scintillating in their victory against the champions, the Northern Crocs. They took down the champions once. Can they be champions here? Wow. Well, if the Gold Coast Glory proved anything in the last match, it's they were on from the very first point. Sarah and, and Danielle came out firing. They won the first game and really set the scene in that semi-final. I'm expecting them to do it again here. Well, there we go as our ladies are about to get underway. We are stuck into it. Rally scoring format, Major League Pickleball Australia at Focus Pickleball Redcliffe. Championship court. Let's get into it. <laughs> Here we go. Ball in hand with Talia Saunders. We're underway. Oh, we start with a service fault. A little bit anti -climatic. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of anti-climactic. I'm sure it's going to heat up, though. Here we go. Oh, and an attack from Townsend straight away, straight on to Talia Saunders. Oh, she is the barometer of the glory. If she fires, the Falls will know all about it. Lovely pick up. Oh. Targeting Saunders early. And just pushing wide there, Burt. Nice deep return from Townsend. Oh, off the net. 
Oh, Sarah Burr, captain's point. Read it so well and then slammed it back down the middle. Oh, Danielle Townsend, Townsend can't be stopped. Danielle covering everything. Young gun popping off four one. She was in the flow on that point. Oh. Oh, oh Mickey Hyatt's caught a body. Nice body shot from Michaela there. It's like poking a hornet's nest oh. when you bag Townsend. There we oh, go. You mentioned it, Gordon. Townsend getting. <laughs> she is unfazed by the body. Returns fire herself. Three-point lead for the glory. Oh, and the drive. Beautiful drive. Townsend is firing right now, Gordon. Danger size for the falls. Confident start here from the Gold Coast Glory. Oh, just off balance there, Burp. Three six on our way to 21 here in game one of the grand final season one MLP Australia. Oh, what a rally. Oh. Talia Saunders with a come on too. She's trying to fire herself up, Gordon. Only two points in it. Fast fours. And hang it around. And, and how's this crowd, Dylan? It's so good, mate. Focus pick up a red cliff. Putting on a show. Bang. Oh. Take two. Talking about bodies. Great Townsend. Power. Not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. There is a significant crowd around the camera that you're currently seeing. A lot of people seeing the same action you are. Wow. Oh, nice pick up. Oh, lovely put away from Mickey Hyatt there. Yeah, the highlight doing it once more. Consistent and as always. Oh, lovely. Half Ernie from Sarah Burr. Talia Saunders Great. bang down the middle. Great spot from Saunders. Double-handed excellence there by Saunders. Only one point game. Oh. oh, lovely dink battle, Sarah Bev. So patient. How good was Townsend's hands during that goal? She fended off that attack from Hyatt so well. She had no choice. <laughs> Oh, patient pickleball. Gold Sarah Coast Glory. Burr, really dinking with intent there. Just dinking, for, just trying to get Talia off balance. Wrong footed. Oh, oh recognize the pop up. It was a good try from Townsend. She should keep, keep doing that. Oh, we're good. Flick of the wrist not to be. Great patience. Sarah Burr really showing her experience here. Oh, lovely dipping. That was set up by a beautiful 
dipping drive from Townsend. Yeah, and they find themselves with a four-point lead, the Gold Coast Glory with the rotation. Currently 11-7. Gordon, great start for the Glory Girls. The Glory Girls, I like that. Now, this is exactly the start that they would like. Get a bit of a roll on. If they can set the scene in that first half, it's almost perfect conditions now, Dylan. The, the breeze seems to have gone. There doesn't seem to be any wind on court. The temperature's quite nice, and the lights are starting to take over here. So it's perfect conditions here for pickleball, and a nice, handy four-point lead here for the Gold Coast Glory. Dare I say the weather is glorious? <laughs> is it a sign, Dylan? Oh, oh, who knows? Times are telling. We're about to get underway. The ladies from the glory ready to go. Claps all round. Clouds involved. Let's get stuck into it once more. Currently 11-7. The Gold Coast cheer squad on the side. Oh, oh. yeah, it's so strong. She was drive. poised and ready to punish that. Oh. 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 Wow. wow. Daniel Townsend just relentless at the line, Gordon. And even though they lost that point, hats off to Talia Saunders there. Her defense and pickup skills, just unbelievable. Great pick up from Townsend. Superb play from Townsend. That mid-court reset really set up that point. Oh, called long. Just a bit too much gusto on that one from Sarah Burr. Yep, well played. Consistence from Sarah Burr, Gordon. Minimal errors from the captain. She's leading by example, that's for sure. Oh, just going off. With the off off hand speed up, off forehand speed up there, but uh, into the net for Saunders. Oh. I was going to say, I wonder if we're going to see a timeout here from the fast forward. And there scoring. it is. And I've just noticed, Dylan, it is getting a little bit cooler, and that ball doesn't seem to be bouncing as much as it was earlier in the day. So I'm just wondering if the cooler temperature is affecting the bounce of the ball and whether that takes a bit of player adjustment to go along with it. It's a very fair point you make, Gordon, as the ladies are just having a discussion right now. Fun point for us to make, Gordon, is that this is the last event of our season right now. Season two has been absolutely thrilling. We covered Sydney, New Portland. Zealand, and now Brisbane. It's been an absolute thriller all the way along, and what a great way to end our events. Sarah Burr to bring it in, currently have a 16-9 lead. Speed up goes long. Sarah Bird. And Danielle Townsend just keep building that score line. Oh, oh what a shot. Saunders is not done yet. Gordon, she was scintillating in the game that we covered in the semi final, came up with some absolute clutch points. Oh, nice. Oh. Ooh. Called right. Great attacking play from the fast fours. Oh, Danielle Townsend. Oh, my goodness. Superb skills there from Townsend. The dink to the right and then the put away to the left. Just stunning play.
Oh, drive goes Ooh. long. You too much, too much praise. Well, you can feel which when she's feeling it, Gordon. She, <laughs> all guns blazing from Danielle Townsend. Keeping the ball on Burr here, and it's oh, good. Head flick is perfect. Nikki Hyatt needs to fire here, Gordon. Should the falls find their way back in this match? Well, they can, if they can work their way back here, just get a few more points. Oh, that's oh. so good. Sarah Burr really just understanding the rally scoring format, Gordon, making the most of all of her points. Just playing smart pickleball, high percentage. Fourteen, nineteen, five point lead to the glory in game one here. Oh, Sarah Burr with the straddle. Hyatt somehow getting out of yeah, the way. She had to do uh, quite a maneuver to get out of that one. The drop, uh, and Gordon, we have a game one opportunity here for the glory, currently 2015. Fitting that it's the captain to bring it in. Oh. Grace chased down by Burr. Captain's oh, point, Sarah Burr play. standing tall. Glory with the first victory, Gordon. That was the electric. Wow. And you can see how important it was to Sarah Burr there. She gave a big body hug to, <laughs> to Danielle there. She knows how important that first game was. And she's really set the scene now for the Gold Coast Glory. It's now up to the gents to capitalise on that. And who else could you wish for to come on court in Fairbanks and Esther Reha? If you saw them in the semi-final, you know how dangerous they can be. Yeah, Gordon, give us a fill in. How do the gentlemen play in their semi-final? They combine so well. Fairbanks and Esther Reha. Fairbanks, just by looking at him, he's so imposing at the no volley zone. He just puts pressure on his opponents just by being there and then you've got the silky skills of Esther Reha who who basically can put the ball on the court anywhere he wants and almost at will. Dylan there were moments in the semi-final where Jasmine and I were just thinking this guy's a general he he was just directing play he, he was he really played well. And we're not going to say Jasmine's biased at all with her commentary on Roman <laughs> are we? No, he is an absolute class act and we are so grateful to be able to have him on our courts right now, Roman. But absolutely tearing it up. But they're, but they're up against a very strong duo of Wall and Gray. Yeah, well, we saw in the semi-final, George Wall absolutely led from the front with his captaincy. And I will say, Gordon, Ollie Gray was bopping around. He was very athletic, moving around, generating points at will. What we just saw from Danielle Townsend, I expect to see the exact same from Ollie Gray. The young guns, not phased at all by the pressure of being on championship court. And had and with the fast fours, Dylan, with you watching their last semi-final, how do Gray and Wall combine together? Is there one that takes more of a leadership role when they're on court? Definitely, like George Wall being the captain, we can expect he to uh, sort of lead from the front. But the one thing that I find fascinating with this matchup, Gordon, is they kind of mirror each other. George Wall, obviously the rock solid defensive player from the fast fours. He'll be taking his time setting up the plays and whatnot, where his partner, Ollie Gray, will be capitalizing on those pop-ups, those ridiculously long, lanky arms of his to be putting shots away. I imagine we expect to see the same from Roman and Alex. Roman is just absolute rock solid defender. Obviously a bit crafty with lobs as well. And I imagine he'll be trying to set up his partner, Alex Fairbanks. Looks like we're about to get underway. It's currently 0 0. Ollie Gray to bring it in for the fast fours. This is going to be a great matchup. There we go. 
We expected a fast set of plays from Alex Fairbanks. That is exactly what's occurred. Our first point going to the glory. Oh, Fairbanks just a finding that spot just perfectly. Didn't overplay it. Flicking it down the right, perfect. Nice spot by Gray. And again. Oh, George Wall firing. And we have to say, Gordon, as we saw Sarah Burr take the first victory for her side, can George Wall do the same for his? Double drives, double points, captain coming up clutch. Oh, sensational off down the line by Ollie Gray. Nobody saw that coming, least of all Esther Reha. Oh, oh jabbing back and forth, a boxing match underway. Alex Fairbanks winning that one. Oh, there's that off forehand again by Oliver Gray. Alex Fairbanks once more. Offense beating defense right now, Gordon. Fairbanks initiating, Fairbanks finishing. And lightning skills, and to recognize that ball was going out so quickly. Signature, Roman Estereja, what a lob. Oh, and that is in. in. Oh, Ollie Gray, I'm surprised he didn't wallop that one, Gordon. <laughs> I think the call was... Oh, what a... What wow, a... Roman standing tall. Roman, that is an incredible speed up cross court. Double-handed backhand down the left. Incredible from Roman. With elevation. Oh, unfortunately, George, can't use your hand to hit it back over. And Glory with a three-point lead. Oh, and again, Roman absolutely raining the kitchen right now, flinging it at Ollie Gray, nothing he can do. Just long. Oh, drop attempt just short there. The Glory with a six point lead. Gordon, this win would be gigantic for the Glory. It would be a huge psychological edge if the Glory can get up here. Not done yet, however, captain with ball in hand. 5-10. Lob oh. is long, and that is a rotation of sides 11-5. Gordon, the glory looking good. The glory are looking strong, and, you know, that last, that last lob by Ollie just going wide, but... Jasmine and I were talking about um, that before and how Australian players are now lobbing a lot more. And I call that the Esther Reha effect. Oh, you're spot on. Like I had Wesley Gabrielson, Hall of Famer, calling the game with me in the last semi-final. And he said the exact same thing. 
the lobs are now becoming a lot more recognised here in the Australian pickleball space with our open division. And as a result, we're seeing plenty of them. Gordon, we have our draft day coming up July 4th for our Season 3 of the Major League Pickleball Australia. For our players watching at home getting interested, check the Major League Pickleball Australia website. Still a chance to sign up. Yeah, if you're watching from anywhere around the world or in Asia, get on it. Mm. Yeah. Down oh, to the rough. toes, away she goes. Ollie Gray, too strong. Six eleven. Fairbanks. Oh, nice touch from Esther Reha. Oh, patience plus from Esther Reha. Lob and a oh. foot fold on the side of Alex Fairbanks. The lob, Gordon, we bring it up. That was such slow, patient pickleball. George Wall flinging a lob in there to mix things up, gets the result he's looking for. Fairbanks just pushing off with his foot on the no volley zone in the kitchen. Oh, two quick points from Wall. So consecutive points here for the fast fours. They need to string some momentum together here. Nice drive from Wall. Oh, yeah. holy gray, too and strong. Three point game. And Gordon, the rally scoring format, once again proving you cannot hold a lead in the Major League Pickleball Australia format. Gold Coast Glory, we're looking good. Fast fours have responded so well. It's back to two points. Really is anybody's game, this one. Fairbanks to bring it in. Nice looping return from Gray. Oh, oh, Roman, so strong. Roman, let's go. Esther Reha has such quick hands. Turning wall inside out there, Esther Reha. Oh, oh. Left Alex Fairbanks nearly jumped into it. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what Fairbanks was, was doing on that one, but it was a good dodge. Keeping the ball on Fairbanks here. That's a body, Ollie Gray. And a foot fold on Ollie Gray. Oh. Gray cannot believe it. Yeah, again, just pushing off out of the kitchen. That's the Reha to bring it in. Lobs have been working for the glory thus far, but not in that exchange. I mean, it's a scary prospect. Graham Wall is so tall. Mm. But if anyone's going to lob them, it's going to be mm -hmm. Esther Reha. Mm -hmm. Six-point buffer right now for the glory. They can really put the throttle down. Oh, what a oh Fairbanks. What a what a stinging drive from Fairbanks right down the middle. Oh, 
Oh, and it was it almost a second. Six point lead. The fours need a run here. Dink rally. Oh. That's called out. Oh. Confirmed out. Scintillating matchup right now, Gordon. We're seeing a lot of cross thinking action between Wall and Estaraja. Yeah, they were targeting Fairbanks before, but now they seem to be switching it round. Oh. Inhuman oh. speed. Roman responds. Ollie Gray copped him earlier. Roman gets him back, takes a six point lead. So body bag to Estereja. Can they claw back from here? Oh, what a pickup. Wow. Incredible oh. from the glory. Captain on her feet. <coughs> that is insane from the fellas in wow. blue. That got the team off the bench that point. Six point lead. Great serve. Oh. oh. Gee whiz. Oh. There was not that, much in that. That landed. The crowd would have went ballistic. Oh, oh, Alex Fairbanks. Too easy. Fairbanks. And that brings up a game point, Dylan. For game two, this is mantle, Gordon. We have a timeout a on time the side out. of the fast fours. Gordon, Roman is running riot right now for the Gold Coast glory. He is. It is reminiscent of the semi-final. He just had that ball on a string and was placing it at will in that semi-final against the rush. And he's doing the same here. We should nickname him the general because he is directing play left, right and centre and just really taking control of this match. It's just off the charts. Well, speaking of generals, Gordon, I mean, we've got the captain of the fours on the alternative side. George Ball, pressure mounting. Needs to get it back. We have a game point situation. Fairbanks ball in hand, currently 20-14. Leaping Ernie from Wall. There we go. We ask for the captain. The freeze is in effect, Gordon. The fours can really start to accrue some points. Oh, George Wall from that one. You picked it, Dylan. It look, looks like Wall's trying to insert himself. Once again, game point situation, Alex Fairbanks. Great deep serve. Gets the job oh, done. What a and serve. And that's a big, big result for the Gold Coast Glory. Esther Reha and Fairbanks help the Gold Coast Glory to a 2-0 lead here. Gordon, I have to ask the question. Have the Fast Fours already played their grand final? They had a dream breaker situation in the semis against the current champions, the Northern Crocs. Well, they've done what nobody's been able That's to right. do all season. They've knocked off the champions, the Northern Crocs. Like you say, Dylan, have they played their grand final? Well, mate, the pressure is really starting to mount on them here. This is a must-win game for the Fast Fours, and as a result, we would expect the Fours to play there number one side straight off the bat. Yeah, well, we saw the rush maybe pay the price for, pay, for playing their wild card early. They played Hart and Wild in the third rubber and they lost that. And then, and that oh, changed the complexion okay. of the game. So 
What will happen here? We've got the steady hand of Sarah Burr and Mr. Esther Reha. They've proven to be such a formidable combination. So they're really coming out looking to lock this up. Well, I mean, it would be fitting that we have a captain v captain clash to secure the final event of our season two here at Focus Pickable Redcliffe. Gordon, what a season we've had. Let's talk about it. Oh, we've had Sydney, Auckland, and now Brisbane. It's been an absolutely sensational season of pickleball. MLP Australia, they should give themselves a huge pat on the back. It's been an incredible season. Just look around this court, Dylan. Yeah. Who would have thought three months ago that we'd be here in Brisbane with this atmosphere? Oh, it's wild, man. Like, I was speaking to several people from the Australian pickleball scene earlier in the event, and just we look at the growth of the sport. It's been around for, what, seven to eight years here in Australia. And here we are with the Major League Pickleball Australia Season, season 2 final with a packed crowd, and everyone's absolutely having a ball. Absolutely. And then you look ahead to what's coming up. We've got the draft on July 4, where the captains will re-pick re their teams yep. for season two. Yep. Well, let's discuss the draft atmosphere sort of thing, Gordon, here. As you were involved with the draft of this season, I imagine we're going to see some significant team changes for our next draft. Well, you, I, I think... There's certainly been there's certainly been players that have um, that have performed at an incredible level, and they'll have a number now. So you you'll have to be looking at at um, Roman Estereja. You've got Rose Van Reek, all of those players, and you know the current number one um, draft pick, um, Lucas Pasco. Who's going to be number one oh. in this next draft? It's pick a have a guess. Just have a guess. Well, I'd like. Well, I'm going to put it out there and say Rose I would agree. Van Rijk. I would agree, yeah. Because I'd be very surprised if she wasn't. She's been a shining talent uh, all season. But then again, you know, you look, at across, you look across the talent of the MLP. Every team has shining stars. And uh, they've all performed in different ways. So it really comes down to what chemistry and what balance each team is looking to create next season. And... There's certainly the, the player depth here in this competition, that's for sure. Yeah, and let's talk about the depth of the fast fours. George Wall, Mickey Hyatt, Captain Clash for our final third game here. Our final mixed event between these two sides. Well, it may not be the if they can win oh, here. Oh, from Captain Captain. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, so let's get underway. <laughs> this is a must win for the fast fours, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, Sarah hinting at an Ernie and there. What a what a fascinating matchup between Sarah Bear and Mickey Hyatt, both in fine form. Highlight Hyatt can flog the ball. Sarah Bear renowned for her defense. I talked about defense, oh. Gordon. My goodness, the glory. Like a sentinel holding back the tide, but it eventually crumbled. George Wall too strong, 1-1. One, one. This is like one of those immovable forces versus the immovable. Oh, the unstoppable. unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting because if Mickey Hyatt does get going, she is quite literally unstoppable. Oh, what a drop. What a pick up from Wall. Oh. Oh, Roman. He was a bit like a lone soldier out there in the field, Roman, trying to hold down the fort. But he got the first ball back. He just, it's like a machine. There we go, the glory with a one-point lead. Gordon, we got one of the owners, Nat Cook, in the crowd. She'd be very happy with the Harris side of performing right now. Captain oh. v. Captain, George Wall smacking that one down. Right at the feet of Sarah Burr. 
Great placement from George. Ooh, Mickey just clipping the top of the tape. Letting the glory just keep that one point lead. Crucial one point lead. Oh, oh, wow. I reacted the same way, Gordon. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? They both just started hitting mount balls, but it didn't matter. 4-4, four, four. fast fours with ball and oh. another service error. I wonder if Mi Mick Mickey's got a few nerves out there, knowing that everything's on the line here. Great spot by Burr. Oh. Oh, Roman. And oh. again, it's still live. Switch. Ouch. Oh. oh, wow. The glory defending everything like a squash wall, getting it back every time. If you're the fast fours, you'd be thinking, what do I have to do to score a point? Every point they score is something they have to work for. goodness. Gordon, I feel like they're starting to warm up here. Wow. We're seeing some ridiculous rallies. The lob master gets lobbed himself. George Wall <laughs> pulling it off. I think Roman was surprised by Burr's, Burr's call there. You, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dinking. 6-6. Six, six. Tense game, Gordon. That's why we're standing, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great spot again by Burr. Who's going to speed it up? What a rally. The glory survive. Great defense. Great communication between Burr and Esther Reha there too. Switching. Oh, oh single-handed excellence. Roman flicking it down. It's almost as if Roman's saying, this is how you do yeah. it. If you're going to lob, this is how yeah, you do perfect it. Perfect, too. Two-point lead for the glory. Oh. Wall to bring it in. Speed oh. up, too good. Great spot by Esther Reha there. Just catching Mickey off balance. Oh, Gordon Roman is playing some phenomenal pickleball right now. Oh. Oh. Ernie wow. from the captain is good. What a great combination there. Esther Reha setting it up with that beautiful placement and then Sarah Burr cleaning up. Oh, oh, body. 
captain on captain violence there, Gordon George Ball, <laughs> flogging her back 9 10. I don't think Sarah will mind taking one of those for the team. Especially if they can keep their nose in front here. Oh, tied game, 10-10. Fast fours are still... It's tie game. Anyone can take it. If they can win this, it changes the match. And that's a swap. The Glory will take the lead of the rotation. This is such a close game, Gordon, between the two. Should it get to that game four, we will see the two young guns go head to head. And that's going to be very exciting. Gordon, I want to talk about Roman Estereja. He has been clinical right now. He has been a revelation. I mean, he's, he's been a great player through the whole season of MLP Australia, but in particular, right here in Brisbane, he's been, I think he's been part of the reason the Gold Coast glory have gotten better with each, with each um, event. You know, started well in Sydney, played really well in Auckland, and now they just seem to be finding another gear. But take nothing away from this pair from the fast fours on court right now. George Wall is an unbelievable athlete, and if anyone can change a game and a match, it's him. Pop up, put away. So oh. good from Roman. Goodness, Roman. Look at their court movement. Yeah! Oh, there's a paddle tap, the old high five. You don't want it to happen, however. And Mickey Hyatt just dug deep. Mickey is impressive. There's no doubt about it. Oh, oh, but bro. so is that backhand put away. My goodness. That's just a... It's the, that shot is just poetry. That's like flinging a frisbee. It's gone. Roman getting it back, currently 13-11. Glory with a two-point lead. Who wouldn't want that shot in the, their repertoire? Standing tall, Sarah Bird building momentum for the glory. This is the glory just hyping up a little bit of a lead here. Oh, getting the roll. Oh, confirmed I think in. It's in. Confirmed in. Switch was perfect. Gordon, are we about to witness the glory days here? Gold Coast wow. cruising right now. As a result, we see a timeout. Gordon, I want to mention something. Sarah Burr, widely regarded as arguably the greatest of all time of Australian pickleball. Just another thing to add to her resume, should she be able to take away a championship here in Redcliffe? Well, she's been such a brilliant trailblazer for pickleball in Australia. She, you know, she's really led as a player, as a coach. She's, you know, she was the first to play in the PPA in the USA, the first player to really venture and, and really create a pathway for other players now to, to, to follow. So, amazing. She, she's adored within the Australian pickleball community. And an absolute leader for the Gold Coast Glory has the ball in her hand right now, 16-11. Great serve. Just falling on 
Pulling back on their side of the court. So the fast fours. Yeah, it's a fast four-point lead for the glory. Mickey Hyatt with ball in hand. Just a quick chat with her captain, George. Oh, oh what is oh. that, Roman? Roman. Esther Reha. It's like plucking a butterfly out of the air, Roman, putting that one down. They're four points away from the championship. What a oh. rally! The Gloria going great guns right now, Gordon. Roman right. Estereja putting on a show for Redcliffe. Wow. A six point lead here, three points away. And it's wide. Make that two points oh, away now. Oh, Gordon. Pressure mounting for the duo this, in the Fast Fours uniforms. This would mean so much to Sarah Burr and her team. Lovely shot by Wall. George, oh, not great done yet. Play by George Wall. Constant communication there from the captain. He's not done with yet. Two quick points, here we go. The fast fours need a fast five. Gordon, it's 2014. It's championship point right here, Dylan. And who better to have the ball in her hand than the captain herself? Will Gold Coast take the glory? Hold your breath. Yes, there they will! Is. The Gold Coast Glory have taken the title. Absolutely Tight. incredible for Sarah Burr and her side. Captain leading the way. We have to give a significant shout out to the team of Danielle Townsend, Alex Fairbanks, Roman Estreja. Gordon, you're from Gold Coast. How are you feeling right now, mate? I, well, was from the Gold Coast, but still a little bit of a Gold Coaster at heart. I'm so stoked for Sarah and the team. It means a lot for them, and it means a lot to Sarah's family. As you'll see, they're joining her on court now. So, yeah, it means a lot. And for the duo, or the four rather, from the Fast Fours, George Wall on his side, unfortunate to go down here their season. <laughs> Has finished up, but what a way for the Sarah Burr-led team to take the victory here. Hugs all around. As wow. That, that closes out our season two, Gordon. This has been so incredible. It's been the most incredible season. Like we said, we started in Sydney with an incredible event. We then went over the ditch to Auckland, who just turned on what we thought was the most unbelievable event. And then here in Brisbane, they've taken it to the next level again. Like Chris Novick and the team here, absolutely unbelievable venue. Oh, I mean, I'm the director of Pickleball here at Focus Pickleball Redcliffe, <laughs> so I'll definitely say we put on a show for everyone. But uh, we've got our discussion right now of our medal presentations. And I have to say, Gordon, the uh, Gold Coast Glory would be absolutely chuffed with themselves, but so would the Northern Crocs. We have to bring them up, Gordon, for our final of Season 2. They will be the champions. They take it overall on points. That's it. And you've got to hand it to the Northern Crocs. They even, they made the semifinals here too, Dylan. So, yep. you know, like Summer Della Bonner, she recruited and drafted a fantastic team. Yeah, not wrong. Absolute masterclass from from the Sunny Coast led Summit Alabama, and she would be so pleased with her team. Unfortunately, her team just had some injury concerns here in the final days of play, but she'll be so pleased to see her Gold Coast friends taking a victory here in Redcliffe. You can just see our MC Ben having a chat with Roman Esreha, who uh, 
how good is it for him, Gordon? He's come over here to the eastern coast of Australia to have a chat with our MC about just how his team has gone. You've known him quite well. We've obviously had his partner Jasmine in the commentary booth. What a absolutely, absolute sir. light bulb she's that been you for all did. of us. Prime Minister Ray, you are a champion, but, uh, sir. Uh, give us a, a feed, give us a bit of insight on the, on the man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it well, up for the Gold Coast he, Glory champion, Prime Minister Ray, and love the rest of his and team. They love Australia, so don't be surprised if uh, if. Roman and Jasmine, because Jasmine's a very handy player also if both of them are in the MLP Australia next season because, you know, I think it would be great for Australian pickleball if they if they stayed around. You know, like there's so many great players in the MLP Australia competition. It's been a huge step up for Australian pickleball. And, well... Not only Australia, but Asia and New Zealand and Singapore, Vietnam. It's, it's everyone. It's, you, yeah. The community has grown so much. And I was just thinking, Gordon, as you were saying that, the only downside to Jasmine getting drafted is she won't be able to join us in the commentary <laughs> booth anymore. She has been absolutely incredible. And as we can see, our wonderful cup there out on the court, show court here at Focus Pickable Redcliffe. I have to say, on behalf of all the staff here from Redcliffe, they've had an absolute blast this weekend. All of this high-quality pickleball on display for everyone. Southeast Queensland continues to provide the goods with our amazing athletes. And as a result, the Gold Coast Glory, Northern Crocs, two Queensland sides, Gordon, winning all the championships for Season 2. Well, it's it, well. you could arguably say it's no surprise, but it, it, could, it is a little bit of a surprise because there's just so much talent across the competition. But um, I like to think that Queensland is... The Australian home of pickleball, Ooh. and you know, I'll throw, I'll throw it out there. Yeah, all right, you, you know, a bit of bias there. <laughs> I'm a Territorian, guys, in the chat, so don't, don't uh, blast me for that. But yes, it is a fair point you make, Gordon. There's, for our international viewers, the sport of pickleball did sort of originate here in Southeast Queensland, where we are. We are currently in Southeast Queensland in Redcliffe, but Brisbane has been a massive base for the pickleball space here in Australia, and it's no surprise to see top talents like the Gold Coast Glory and the Northern Crocs taking the victory here in Season 2. Our Season 3 draft will be kicking off July 4th, Gordon. I'm excited for this. And then, and then of course, you know, not, not only have we got the draft coming up on July 4th, we've got three amazing events coming up, one of which is going to be... I, I won't steal your thunder. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be... A, well, we're going to Gold Coast, first we, of all. We're well, going to go see the glory in their home base. In their glory at home. And and then we're heading to Vietnam, yep. which is unbelievable. So, you know, will our Asia Aces, who will be in that team? And they'll be, you know, the host of of that event. So, Well, they're in the surge, Gordon. I'm very excited to see what Southeast Asia... We saw them in the final in Sydney... And then they've slowly pitted off throughout. I mean, Captain Pay, I can just see her. She's sitting here next to the commentary booth having an absolute ball, I might add. When is she not smiling, Gordon? She, well, her and Dora, I think, are the happiest pickleballers I know. Because every time I see them, they've got a smile on their face. Yep. Particularly Dora today. Like, I was watching her play. Even when, she, you know, she's having a winner hit past her, she's smiling. All right, we are going to go through to the medal presentation. Gordon, it's been an absolute blast calling this season with you. Thank you to everyone. We can see our MC Ben Abbott with the trophy. Over to you, Ben. Well, ladies and gentlemen, across the live stream, and of course here in the Redcliffe Tennis Centre, thank you so much and welcome to the closing ceremony and the championship ceremony for the Major League Pickleball Australia third and final round. First and foremost, we want to thank a multitude of people here, ladies and gentlemen, for the venue, but also the season. So a massive shout out to Focus Redcliffe Pickleball. Thank you to the venue manager, Mr. Chris Novich, and his team here. So a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the Redcliffe Tennis Centre here. Thank you so, so much. And of course, we want to thank our sponsors and partners there as well. And the naming rights and major sponsor, Yola. Thank you so much to them. And our events partners in Lily's Active, Engage Pickleball, Franklin, Heaps Normal, 6-0, Stockland, Halcyon Communities. Can you please put your hands together for our sponsors and partners, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, these events do not just happen without them. Additional thank yous as well to the fantastic production team behind the commentary booth 
and courtside, of course, the guys of the officials and our referees. Thank you so much to those legends around the court. Our competitions and operations team and the volunteers. Thank you so much to one and all. And of course, please, a massive round of applause to your MLP Australia team as well. Round of applause to one and all. Thank you so, so much for all their support. This season and this tournament doesn't just happen, ladies and gentlemen, of course. We've got all those helpers and sponsors and partners, but of course, the teams that are a part of it. And we'd love one final round of applause for season number one. Give it up for all the teams in Melbourne Mavericks, South East Asia Surge, Asia Aces, New Zealand Hustle, Sydney Smash, Southern Stars, Western Vipers, Brisbane Breakers, Eastern Rush, the Fast Falls, the Gold Coast Glory, and the Northern Crocs. Give it up one more time for all the teams. All right, on to the celebrations. I'd like to welcome to front and center, uh, Sant Carter, our lead commissioner. Please put your hands together. And also, ladies and gentlemen, to help present the trophy, the owner of the Gold Coast Glory and a five-time Olympian, the lovely Natalie Cook. So I'm going to step to the side now because it is all showtime. Please congratulate your champions of the MLP Australia for the third round. Give it up for the Gold Coast Glory. Sarah Bird, Danielle Townsend, Roman Estarreya. And Alex Fairbanks. Awesome, we got the happy snaps in there. Awesome, so we're gonna get a bit of a cash prize as well there, but we wanna celebrate an MVP of that game. Give it up one time for Roman Estorea! Weapon. Absolutely crushed it. Fantastic stuff. Well, the Gold Coast Glory are your champions, ladies and gentlemen.